Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, um, today we're gonna be checking out the race, um, the, what, how do you say this? The, uh, the Reservario Sprint, maybe? Anywho, we're gonna be checking this race out today. So, not only that, but I am going to try and answer a few questions and, uh, just, you know, have a little talk here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this. So, my car of choice, I believe, is gonna be the GR Supra. Why not? Uh, I really like this car, so it's a good car. We'll see how it performs um, in some real track driving. I just want to thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. You heard that right, 1,000. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support, all the views, all the likes, and all the subs. It uh, really means a lot. I just want to say sorry for not posting over the last couple, um, over the last week, maybe week and a half. I just really haven't felt like getting on and playing this game but uh, I've got that motivation after hitting 1,000 subscribers to really just get right back into this and um, you know try and produce some content here here we go now um oh boy I'm not really sure what the difficulty is but we're gonna try and do this I'm gonna try and do the no rewind challenge as well So yeah, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Um, again, as per usual, let me know what you want me to do in the comments below. I'm really open to suggest suggestions. Um, another reason I haven't posted is my computer had a malfunction. I had to reinstall Windows. It took a while to get my game up and running again. Ooh, okay. I'm very good at racing. But yeah, it took a while to get everything up and running again. But now that I've got everything good to go, uh, we should be, uh, we should be, um, green-lighted here. Looks like this is a tougher race. Hopefully we can get it, though. I can't really see. Oh. I know I said no rewind challenge, but who cares? Honestly. I'm trying to fix the camera. I would also kind of like to talk about some of the leaks, um, vehicles that were leaked for Forza Horizon 5. So, this is, might be old news for you. But um, we are rumored to receive a few about, what, let's see, 20-something um, uh, cars maybe from this list that I'm about to read off here. Um, one of those includes the 2011 uh, Peugeot 308 GTI. Um, I don't believe that car has been in uh, Ford, the Forza franchise for quite some time. So that would be an interesting car. One car that I know for a fact hasn't been in the franchise in a while is the 2009 uh, Grand Cherokee SRC8. Um, now I don't really, uh, can't confirm or deny uh, if it was in any other game, uh, you know, after this, but I do know that I haven't seen it personally since Forza Motorsport 4, which was um, quite some time ago. I remember driving that car on Xbox 360 version, so, you know, really only time will tell. I'm really excited to uh, see some of the other cars, like the uh, 2006 Ford uh, GTX-1. Uh, I don't believe we've seen that car since Forza Horizon 1, so that would be kind of interesting if it was making a comeback for the uh, for this new game, which would be very neat as well. Um, another car we haven't seen since Forza Horizon 3 would be the 1980 Subaru Brat GL. I would really like to see that thing come back to maybe some cool um, off-road builds with that thing if it actually does end up in the game uh, maybe we could do that on the channel here sometime that would be cool as well so a bit of a strange jump but the next thing I wanted to do to, in today's video is check out some of the customi customization for a new car in the game um, the, uh, the Land Rover Defender um, I've kind of been wanting to see some customization for this um, I've just never really gotten around to it so let's go ahead and see what you can do to this thing um, maybe we'll do a sick off-road build here so it's already a pretty mean looking vehicle let's go ahead and go around it here and open all the doors let's see what is this nice looking engine I love the detail they put into these wow that's crazy Check out the interior here. It's 
So you can see amazing looking interior, interesting looking shifter. It looks a bit adult. Um, let's see, do we have a sunroof in this thing? I think we do. Nice digital gauges, let's go around back. Oh yep, look at that, looks nice. Go ahead and close that, yep. I really like the way this thing looks, looks good. So let's go ahead and see what kind of customization we can do for this thing. So let's see if we can stick a aftermarket exhaust. So this is what it sounds like stock. And this is what it sounds like with the racing exhaust. Let's see if there's any difference. So for this build, I'm going to go with the sport exhaust because I do kind of like how it has a deep kind of sound to it. Um, I like that. Next, let's go ahead and throw on an intake. Might also hear a little difference. I don't know. Um, go ahead and just upgrade this thing a little bit. Maybe throw um, better turbos on here. And um, maybe some cooling or whatever. Definitely going to throw on um, just sport brakes. Now for this, let's go ahead and get the rally suspension. Um, should we go for any of this, you guys think? Let's just stick with that. Let's see if we can get a reasonably cheap build here. So as for the tires, now, um, do they really make off-road tires on in this game? Let's go ahead and throw maybe a rally compound on there, maybe. Yeah, let's go for the rally compound. Maybe some chonky tires. Uh, the stock one, the stock wheels do look okay. One eternity later. All right. So after a minute of searching, I kind of like these. Um, maybe with a little color customization of the vehicle. Now, oh yeah, let's throw that on. That looks neat. Let's see what we can do on the back here. Oh oh oh, yikes. No, I'm not really going with that. Actually, let's go see um, what kind of engine swaps we can do. 5 liter V8. Wait. This is like an AMG V8. And we have the 7.2 liter V8. Definitely interesting off the way. And we have a turbocharged inline 6. I think a, you know, build with a with this V8 would be kind of neat. Maybe in another video. So we're making 587 horsepower. Let's go see how this thing performs out on the real road. All right, and we're out. You know what modification I forgot was the track width. This looks pretty sad, actually. So the bull bar looks cool. We'll just uh, kind of move past that. Let's see what the interior looks like on this thing. Here, with, this is the gauges. Let's do a quick uh, 0 to 60 as well as the sound test here. Alright, so it sounds pretty good. Um, it shifts kind of slow. 
for being a uh, automatic vehicle. Which is a bit strange. Ooh, it's a bit of a fun drifter. Yeah, it's a nice slidey little car. Nice. So maybe for fun, I was thinking we'll do this um, little drag strip thing, festival drag strip, um, solo. You know, maybe just to see how this thing will perform. I'm just kind of curious. You know, I think it'd be kind of funny to see what kind of performance we can get out of this thing in a straight line. It does look pretty good. I didn't do any suspension tuning or anything, but you know, I like the way it sits. Make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to try and post a lot more. Again, I know I slacked off a little bit, but um, I really am going to try and um, get my head in the game, maybe, I guess you could say. Um, we'll just kind of see how that goes. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this race. Oh, I see a Trackhawk. Yeah, I think we're done for. Yeah. Well... Uh, maybe, I don't know, well, oh, uh, maybe, hang on, oh, I missed a gear, that kind of set us back, oh, I don't know, it's kind of hard, that eye pace, is that an eye pace back there, let's see, oh, oh, uh, second, third, should we do that again, yeah, let's do that again, I did miss a shift, I was kind of hoping we'd uh, clutch that. Nope. Let's try it again. I'm surprised that Trackhawk didn't win. Um, maybe it's down-tuned or something. I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. And go. Try and bang every shift. Okay. Looks like that's the determining factor if I can shift correctly. Ooh, that Bentega is just pulling hard, though. It's kind of tough. Ooh, what's it going to be? Me and that BMW were head on head. Oof, this is going to be an interesting one. Finish second. What got us? Probably that BMW. What was that, an X5? Yep, X5. Okay. You can see me and this Bentayga were super close. Look at how close these were too. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, this eye pace. Do I have one of those? I don't know. Definitely an interesting race for sure though. So it looks like this thing can kind of hold its own in a drag race. Um, yeah. So is it worth it? So I think I got this thing for 23,000 bucks on the uh, auction house. So I mean, if you can find a deal like that, I'd say go for it. Honestly, it's a cool looking car, a decent customization. You can throw a V8 in this thing. Heck, you know, I'd even go as to say this is a pretty good car. Um, I didn't upgrade it all the way, but you know, if you can, go ahead. This is a decent little car for the money, yeah. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, make sure to put anything you want me to do in the comment section below. I will most definitely get to it. Um, again, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Um, make sure to hit notifications, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.